puppy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Nope. Nope. Not a good boy. Not a good boy. Come on now, it's April Fools. Some of you had to guess that opening. <laughs> okay, we are looking at Puppy Linux this time. Puppy Linux is a lightweight distribution. It's been around for a while. It started out with a 32-bit architecture and that architecture line is now frozen and the 64-bit is still being developed. Um, about Puppy. This is their website here. Puppy Linux is a unique family of Linux distributions meant for the home user home user computers. It was originally created by Barry Cowler in 2003. Puppy Linux Advantage. Ready to use all tools for common daily computing usage already included. Ease of use. Grandpa friendly certified. Hey, that's in my category. <laughs> Relatively small in size, 300 megabytes or less. The download for the version I got, which is the 9.5 or 9.05, was 402 megabytes. Um, fast and versatile, customizable within minutes, remasters, meaning you can uh, add and subtract things in the live environment and install it to the hard, to your uh, hard drive. Uh, different flavors. Optimized to support older computers, newer computers. Variety, hundreds of derivatives, puppets. <laughs> kind of a mouthful right there. One of which will surely meet your needs. Is one of the, was one of these things interest you? Read on. Now, I've heard about Puppy Linux and I tried to install it years ago, but I never was able to get to install. I didn't have the skills at the time. And I had this idea last night, hey, let's look at all the lightweight distributions. So I'm going to do a series on lightweight distributions for those of you with hardware out to still have older hardware out there. Now the Streambook, I'm looking to install a lightweight distribution on has two gigabytes of RAM. The dual core, 1.6 or 1.8, um, it has HDMI port out, Intel, high depth Intel graphics, uh, can't remember the exact number, but it was manufactured in 2015. The BIOS was set up in 2014, or the board was manufactured in 2014. So, yeah, you just scroll down and Choose the dis choose your uh, flavor down here. Ubuntu Focal 64. So it's based off Ubuntu. Fossa Pup 64.95. Okay, so it's 9.5. The main. And for ARM, for, Ras for, the, for the Pi, you have Raspian Buster, Raspup, a dot two dot one and it took I accidentally downloaded Ubuntu Bionic I was gonna I thought that was the latest so good thing I double checked double checked on that and I don't want to any previous version you know goof ups okay but anyways let's get on to the show here let's uh get her going okay I have picked on the wrong one you want this one right here. And internal hard drive. 
No partitions found when you G parted. Okay, so what we need to do is click on new. So click on device, create partition table, and MS DOS. Add the XT4, and now we need to get it to boot. Uh, well, we want the XT4. Device, view, edit, apply to all operations. Okay, we're just going to apply what we got. Save details. Oops. Close that back out. Close. Okay. Manage flags. There we go. Go and hit boot on that one. Close. I think we're done here. I right, let's try and install it and see what happens. Yep, that's what I want. You've chosen to install Puppy to partition down USD1, which is extended to 32 gigabytes for SK. Yep. Install. Puppy is going to be installed to partition SD, which is currently mounted in this path to mount SD1. And this will be a frugal install. You can choose to place the puppy files in a folder. This is very convenient if you want to have more than one installation. No, I don't. Okay. We'll go ahead and pause it until the next pop up comes up. And she's asked me for. Bootloader and grub boss, it is very well, okay. Yep. Do a single page menu. Click OK. Yes. Okay, the next one came up. Yeah, okay. Keep that. Grip for DOS will be installed on SDA, master boot record, press OK to install, press cancel. Okay. Oh uh, man, it's been a while since I had to deal with most of this. Um, grub for DOS successfully installed. The file to do harm in the list is on the list. When you can edit the menu list before reboot, old oh, master boot worker save. Blah 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 blah. Okay, now you can manually set up your grub or other, other boot system partition. I don't want to do that, just want it to install. Okay. to find out <laughs> gotta reboot it okay it has a uh, first boot shutdown there's a couple of screens that I forgot to record folder save a folder recommended file single file x2 go save folder recommended okay we'll just click on that one and okay alpha merit numbers we'll just one two
Final sanity check. Partition your saving as D1. Final system is D1. Partition. Path folder. You may choose yes. Okay. We don't need a swap in here. And we'll go and pause it. And hopefully she'll come back. Okay, she came back up. Alrighty. And we want. Oh, safe mode with that XRAM mode. SD PBS. Find grub. Find grub for OS command line. Ruby computer. Hot computer. Nope. Want the top one. Okay, I'm gonna unpause this. Okay, this is up in the VM. It's giving me some flack here. I didn't save it persistent, so we'll have to go through the setup again. You know what? Let's run the video wizard. Okay, screen resolution, X render. There she is. Okay. And it does that weird thing. Make it permanent. I come compositor. Oh, dang, that scared me. <laughs> okay, let's click on setup. Okay. English USA. Okay. I'll restart X. Now, when you restart the X server, it fixes the Fixes the background. Oh man, that dog's gonna. <laughs> Bad puppy! Okay. Let's go through this. There we go, that came up. And we are using. 5% of the CPU, memory 542 megabytes of 1.94 gigabytes, which is what I gave it, zero swap. Okay, here we are. We got your desktop, J. it's a JWM desk, uh, window manager, lock state, tray icons, flip clock, redshift, via sync, configure, set time tape, set time and date <laughs> public set properties of X so we're gonna go to the window manager the backgrounds black when we're on pixel house pup light pink purple and sky we'll just stick with the one that we have GTK theme. New no Sun, new. No. That doesn't look like the best one. Change the colors. Uh. Massive cursor, we'll leave that font, we'll leave that other. Okay, close that out. JWM theme. Dark gray. 
sure you're blue. Yeah, to get rid of the conky because uh, it will show my IP address. It should only show your uh, local IP address, not your external. Uh, New McSun, original. Snakes to gray. Well, yeah, we'll go back to this one. Yeah, I like that one better. Icon themes. Um, there it is. Blue moon. Ooh, I like blue moon better. Eridus is pretty good too. Uh, I like their icon set. Mocha. Umix. P material. Standard. SVG. And uniform. I think I broke it. Okay, I kind of broke the uh, <laughs> icon thing there. All right, uniform. Yeah, they're all really good. I like them. I like the icon things on here. But we're going to go with Blue Moon and stick with that. Icon layout. Trad traditional full desktop, minimal, bare. Custom choose receive profile. Uh, I really don't like this many icons on the desktop, but we'll just leave it the way it is. Icon manager. Launch handler when media plugged. This is your standard theme in Windows and where you'd set it, snap to focus, tray, virtual desktop, you get three. Okay, we'll go back over here. Uh, for utilities, BDIF. File difference manager, clip it. Oops. Back it. There's a lot of old stuff in here that I don't know. Move manager. It's been a while since I've used this stuff. I don't do not remember most of this. Okay, rocks file manager. The Rocks File Manager. <laughs> Oops. PMT, Find Run, P, P, P Finder, GD Map, Graphical Disk Usage, and it's probably because it's in a VM, it's not working. View graphics, mount paint, inkscape, view nor, color, PZ scale, graphics resizer, and more. Take a GIF, take a snapshot, same documents, get rid of office, no case, QT note, Abbey Word, Genie. Oh, one more thing I need to do. Rock, uh, where was it? I think HTOP is installed. Yep. 628 megabytes. A 
that's what this thing's using. Now for 64-bit, the requirements are 64-bit, obviously, dual core, um, one gigabyte of memory, 32-bit would be 512. And it runs as little as 64 megabytes. But you really have to configure it to get that low. Okay, uh, yeah, business, generic home bank account, calculator, two measurements, personal, Figaro's password manager, Osmo personal organizer, PP blog, personal blog, timing, network, fireball, I know these, internet, get flash, install flash player, GFTP, pale moon, Premier get website downloader. You get SSH GUI secure remote login. Pub advert pup advert block blocker block online ads. Uh, and PV and I had to wait till my neighbor left. He's got a loud truck. Oh, MPV. All your standard, uh, standard stuff here. Claws mail, pale moon, let's go on the internet. See if she can handle it. Go to the Textivo project. Man, what a good looking site. This guy's got 96 videos. Look at that. <laughs> Try this one. Oh, it's up to 194 views. And that's it. What'd you think of uh, Puppy Linux? Focal Fossa. Lightweight distro for your lightweight needs. Anywho, I'm out of here. Y'all stay safe. Have fun. Happy April Fools.